Hey guys, how's it going? Whammo here. Welcome back to another episode of Lunchtime Deads. So the clock in my microwave is blinking 12 o'clock. Oh, fuck me. Missed that charge bad. Normally you can charge through that wall, but if you do hit this little corner piece, this little studding, it has a bigger hitbox than you might think, and it will stop your charge dead. Yeah, the clock in my microwave is blinking 12 o'clock, so I figured it was time for some more Lunchtime Deads. Oh, why would you trigger like that? What are you thinking? Here we go. Let me just deal with this. There we go. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh, we might get to talk about this finale, actually, which is something we don't get to talk about too terribly much. Uh... Hopefully, anyway, if we make it there, it looks like these guys don't quite... Yeah, maybe they do know where they're going. We'll make we'll make this. Barring any stupid spawns. Oh, there's the boomer in the back. I just kind of spam the wall carelessly, hoping to hit something with a shotgun. Uh, yeah, last one in needs to close the door. That's, that's fucking Left 4 Dead 101 right there. Last one in closes the door. If you're holding a Molotov, guys, when the safe room door closes, you will release that Molotov and light the safe room afire safely. One of those things you... Yeah, you may or may not know. It's kind of fun to do your teammates sometimes. Oddly enough, it's only common on this map. I only ever see it right here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. That's that's weird. That's the only safe room I ever remember doing that in. What is up with that? <laughs> I don't know. So, this hallway here. Uh, it's it's kind of a good and bad hallway for the uh, the infected. It's it's rough because there's so many spots for you to come from. But the problem being that they're they're so close to the survivors that sometimes... Oh, that was a good walk-in on that boomer. If the spitter can get a good puddle in here, which looks like it wasn't as good as it could have been, but I did get a lot of dings on that guy because he was hoarded while he was down and nobody was shooting him. The rooms are so close to each other that more often than not, a survivor being near you would just be inside of the spawn blocking radius that every natural uh, that every survivor has naturally. Their aura, if you will. You can't spawn inside their aura. It's too powerful. So yeah, it, it's hit or miss. Uh, sometimes shit goes off real well. Sometimes it just falls flat on its face. Actually, more often than not, it just falls flat on its face. You just you just drop attacks there and just you pray for the best. You don't really try and do anything. Might be able to get some damage here with this get up spit. Yep, able to do that. I should have been in that doorway. That was ooh, that was a good boom, a good boom stumble on Lewis, almost downing him there. That was actually super good, right? Oh man, uh, you don't normally see that on this kind of gameplay here. Oh, Francis did go down in the back there. Uh, was that a jockey that dragged him all the way back under that boom? That was super nice. Uh, I don't know if they weren't paying attention to that, or maybe the spit blocked where they were going. They didn't want to run back around, but either way, great jockey there. Great jockey and good boomer stumble. Uh, I should have been standing in this doorway because sometimes, you know, if you get that spit off, they'll just rush through it and rush straight upstairs, and you give them, you know, you might give them an attack, actually, if you, uh, if you miss that proper. You can let them get all the way to the button, and you really don't want to do that. Charger might do this again. Ooh, 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 he pushed for it, but didn't quite get it. Might be able to pull it off here. Yes, able to get Lewis. That's good. Might gonna, oh, yes, able to boom on that. Not gonna get Lewis. Nope. It's all right. Uh, your boom arcs, uh, I wish I knew the command to show the arc of the boom. Uh, the boom has, like, arcing to it. It has drop. So, you know, I think everybody knows this, but uh, it kind of shows the, the sprite, the image, the graphic of it. Arcing is, is somewhat similar, but it's dissimilar enough to kind of make you think that you're peeking on somebody when you're not at range. Uh, I will at some point find that and show you guys because it's, it's pretty interesting how that actually works. The same can be said for uh, things like melee weapons. They actually just kind of throw out five little spikes of damage that do damage to infected around you like when you melee. Again, I'll, I'll show you later, but just it's a cool thing. If you didn't know about it, you know, it's one of those little metas that, you know, can be interesting. I'm just going to stop Zoe here and take a little bit of chip. Boomer's going to pop and then we should be able to do this. Eh, not going to hit him. Damn it, I shook my mouse too much because I'm an idiot. All right. Uh, looks like Smoker did stop some action down here. I should be able to cut in here. Yes, I can. The wall is broken. Now, I'm just going to wait one second. There we go. That's long enough. And bink. Yep, there we go. Just just keeping him down for a little bit longer. Uh, if you got a guy down on this map, you really don't want to press that button. Not that this team's smart enough to know that, but I think that just keeping them over there will, will cause them to stay in this area just a tidbit longer. And It's such a horde-heavy area, even without the boomers up, that it's always advantageous to hold people in this in this far side. Why is the elevator here already? Did I completely miss? There's no fucking way. What did I miss there? What? Okay, I'm an idiot. And apparently he was talking out my ass there. Yeah, I should be able to grab Zoe up. Able to down her. Shit, shit, get out. I'm not sure if I down Zoe or if a zombie hit her. It's probably better that if a zombie hit her. There is Lewis on a shot there. Not gonna happen, buddy, bud. Oh, there's a deagle on the ground and everybody has shotty, so that's not gonna happen. Good booms. Good booms so far this, uh, this game. I'm kind of... God, I wish I, I wish I would have seen them hit the elevator button. I can't believe I didn't hear it. They must have done it. God, she must have ran up here and done it before she got hit. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think. Amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I miss things, guys. I'm an idiot sometimes, <laughs> just like everybody else. Sorry. Uh, there was a witch up here, right? Uh, where was she? she oh, fuck. Uh, I'm going to have to worry about setting up this charger for the moment, but I think the witch is further in over there. Might be able to play off that, assuming... 
We can kill this charger right away. Hmm. Probably. Oh, don't burn that spitter, dude. You want that? That's a. Oh boy, you want the spitters here, guys. Uh, not because of the damage, but because of the area denial. You want to be able to push survivors around the way that you want them to go. You'd be surprised. Did they fall through the elevator? No, they're just screaming like fucking morons. You'd be surprised what what a little bit of spit can do to help push a survivor in a certain direction, good or bad. Now the question is, can I get this smoke? The answer is yes. I come on, game. <laughs> I love how he falls like this. It's fantastic. Um, that was a classic case of getting stuck on geometry here. Uh, he was just behind one of these little tiny lips on this thing. And it just, it hung up the tongue enough for him to get stuck. Charger is not in a great spot. Yeah, that was, he tried to flick charge there. I admire what he's trying to do, but it just, it, it, that wasn't in the cards. You're, a solo charge on this rooftop with how ready survivors are for it really is kind of a pipe dream. It's just hard to pull off. Might be able to get this boomer on the witch if I can get up here in time. Not going to get the spawn, damn it. Bill is going to get downed like a fucking pleb. Oh my god. Oh, I should have went in and scratched. Should have went in and scratched. There we go. Okay. No, don't get up. Get pushed back. There you go. Uh... As boomers, when you're coming in on somebody down and somebody picking them up in a key area like this, such as like the end of a map or near a ledge, uh, your key objective is to keep the guy down. Now, that means bringing in your boomer late and going for the scratch so that the survivor who's getting the guy up has to make a choice between either finishing, getting up the survivor, and taking the boom. That is a nice pounce in the back. Did somebody go off the edge? They did. Probably a stumble from that pounce. That is super good. Uh, so that they have to make a choice between getting the guy up all the way and taking the boom or stopping getting the guy up and shooting the boomer and risking taking a boom. Now, I have a few options here. This could be a bad separation. It is going to be a bad separation. No, 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 no. Come here. He was he was not paying attention. Third person camera is your friend there, guys. Uh, when you go for the revive like that, the first thing you should do is just spin a fucking pirouette 180 and look behind you because there's a good chance there's something behind you, an infected a SI something, in this case an SI. <laughs> Uh, that you need to be looking at. Now, when you just start getting up a survivor, you can turn and melee that, and it's not a big deal, but... I don't know if anybody does that. Do you, you guys spin around the camera when you're, uh... when you're reviving somebody? Keep your eyes around you, you know, stay aware? Am I the only one that does that? I can't be. There's no way. I don't know. If you'd like to see the first loader in this map, open the safe from door, go out, stop the spawn cycling. Uh, it may seem like a dick move to some people, and some people really don't like it, but it's... standard of play, guys. Standard of play. That's just how everybody does this map. Also, don't forget your medkits and the throwables on this map. Uh, a common thing that happens here, even against the most veteran players. Now, they said not ready. I'm just going to kind of follow with my team. <laughs> I... yeah. I'm not going to be the odd man out here. Fucking mob mentality. That's what I do. There's a spitter up top. I hear him. Uh, he's probably going to try for delay spit. This means they haven't cycled correctly yet. There's the delay spit. Expected that. Now, if this is still here, it is. This is a great little pick spot. If we can stay on this and nobody shoots it, this is great for killing off infected. They forget how high their heads are. Now, it looks like we got a speed crawling badger there. That's that's a funny sentence to say. Charger is up. Sounds like my side. There goes a Molotov right up there. It's probably going to land around here. Mm. Charger didn't light. That's okay. This floor is shoot throughable, guys. Uh, it's not common. Like, it's not a typical shoot throughable floor, but sometimes your ricochets do go through the floor. They don't want to push up, actually. We want to light this again. You want to light it again, you want to try your best to go up right as the fire is burning out. See if... Oh, okay, it looks like the hunter's gonna waste, that's what we want. Whatever infected we can get off the roof, the better. And it looks like I'm gonna go up here. There's a smoker. Did get a hang. I don't know where the charger is. There was a charger up here. Oh, he died. Why well, the fuck you kill the charger and not just go up? Like, I don't get that. The moment you kill that charger, the threat is gone. Why would you just not go up when the charger dies? How did I miss that charger dying? I'm sorry I'm unattentive today, guys. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Maybe I'm just I'm just not in the left for dead mode, I guess. So this rooftop um, is, or rather can be a pain in the ass. Uh, I've talked about sitting positions before, but I'll go over it briefly here just for the people who haven't seen it. Uh, sometimes you will see full teams sit all four on this platform. It's a viable strategy. However, it's kind of, ee, if you're playing against a good team, you're going to get fucked by boomers. I mean, that's just, you're going to get hit by a boomer, somebody's going to get out of position, they're going to whoop right off that pipe and into oblivion, I promise you. Now, the much more common, oh, there's a hunter bounce around. Why am I so bad at hearing things right now? Uh, do I need to turn on my game audio? Wow, that would that would have been actually a fantastic flick charge. Uh, if you guys have never seen a flick charge in action, that's what I'm talking about. He jumped up onto that railing and went, well, he didn't, his charge wasn't perfect, but it was, it was decent enough. 
jumped up on that railing and then was facing a direction and then went a completely different direction when he charged. Did we start this event or not? Yeah, I guess we did. I, what is going on with that? Is my music like, my music might be bugged. Maybe that's what's happening. It's from all those fucking modded servers I joined before I joined this one. The much more common way for people to sit is one over there, one over here, and one in the middle. Now, sometimes people will sit on top of this. I feel like that opens you up to way too many smoke opportunities, but, you know, eh, it, it's whatever. There is a hunter over there, and there's a smoker on me, so I'm just going to go this way. Boomer did get a nice arc on his boom there. Able to boom this guy on this platform, but I don't see... Wow, I, I was really running around with, like, three bullets in my gun. Are you serious? There's the boomer. Hey, buddy. Yep, you're not going to do anything. Sorry. There we go. What was I saying? Boy, I'm... Well, I'm empty-headed today. God damn, what is wrong with me? It does not sound like this event's on. What is wrong with me? Why is... It must have been all those modded games I was joining. Now, yeah, you'll see them sit... Uh, one, 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 and then the, the last person will kind of be running a, a, a track or a path back and forth or to the middle platform over there. Basically, your fourth person is bait. Uh, you make it look like you're getting out of position when you're actually not, and it works extremely well. So, okie dokie. Oh, I should not have crouched there. That was a bad idea. But yeah, there's there's a handful of ways that you can do this. Uh, two or three of them work pretty well. That's just one that I described is the is the the three platform strategy with a, with the runner in the bottom here. There was a tank there. Uh, sounds like they dropped it off the roof. That's uh, okay. Well, that's that's something I guess. Oh hey, here's a fun thing I never get to talk about. If you uh, get out of the way zombie. If you go over here, if you get your entire team on this little ledge here, this little lip. Hold on, if I can drop onto it without dying like an idiot. This little lip, it's one of those spots in the game that the horde can't path to. So if you get everybody here, you will effectively stop the event. Oh, there's a smoker down there. Man, these smokers are, are they're in good spots. They're just not getting anything good. Uh, yeah, if you get your entire team over here, you can brick the event. It's, it's something you do when you're being an asshole, but I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, there's a few number of ways to combat it, mostly with smokers and jockeys, but yeah, it's fun to do sometimes. Mm. I'm going to skip forward a little bit. Ready? Ready, here we go. There goes the tank, finally. Uh, that tank burned for quite a while, actually. That was a weird tank. He had weird horde coming with him. That was the second tank, right? Where's... What is going on tonight? Yeah, okay, that's that's full map. I'm not wrong. But why is... Hold on, hold on, we gotta light this area down there. Oh, hello, smoker. Didn't, uh, didn't see you there. Am I gonna get left? Are you guys gonna leave me? Hey, oh, they didn't leave me. Um, die, please. Holy shit, what is wrong with me today? Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta walk around. Um, shit, what the fuck was I saying? Damn it! Well, I'll be in the chopper if you guys need me. I think they got sandwiches in here. Hi, Boomer, you wanna come with me? Come on. Just stop, stop hitting me, just take a seat. Take a seat, you can pick whichever one you want. I don't have to be shotgun. Just pick a seat. God, bitch. Boy, yeah, that's weird. You must have to touch the chopper to get full distance on this map. I... Ah, for the life of me, I do not remember that being a thing. I don't know. Oh, I figured out what's going on with the auto, too. They're using the voice chat in game. And every time you use the voice chat in the game, regardless of whether or not you get voice chat on, it will stifle the audio of the game. It is one of the most annoying features of this game, actually. I had totally forgotten about it because nobody uses in-game chat because it's garbage, right? But yeah. So, yeah. If you've got little chat bubbles coming up, you can, you can... They were doing it. It makes the audio go weird. That, and I've been joining modded servers over the past 20 minutes, so, you know, that'll that'll fuck your audio, too. But yeah, that's that's all I got today, guys. Uh, this is pretty much over. They're just running tanks around. I actually, I had a time here where I, uh, me and a few friends ran around eight tanks. We killed eight tanks after the chopper arrived before they finally wiped us. Ah, uh, it was a dick move. Don't do it, guys. Just get on the chopper, finish the map. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. So remember how I said nobody uses in-game chat? Yeah, these guys use in-game chat. Fairly effectively, it sounds like. Pretty competent people. Yeah, who knew? Anyway, I'm gone. I'm done. I'm done. That's it. That's it. Have a good night.